Hello diecast fans and welcome to another new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars and to part two of my mini series about Ferrari Tomica Limited Vintage Neo models called well is it worth it? Now as you can see I opened the episode with my benchmark car the Honda NSX by Tomica Vin Limited Vintage Neo a car that I unboxed sometime last year and gave a 10 out of 10. The cars that I'm about to feature now, however, I acquired way before I started unboxing or way before I started filming unboxing videos. Though it has featured on this channel. I'm talking about this. I'm also talking about this. Okay, so as you can see, last episode, I did a head-to-head -head between the uh, Honda NSX and the Ferrari F355 Berlinetta. Now, I am pitting it against a Ferrari F40. And I'd like to point out that this Ferrari F40 is even more expensive than the F355 Berlinetta. If the F355 Berlinetta was $50, the Ferrari F40, the red one anyway, set me back the amount it set me back by about, sorry, my internet is acting up here. My currency converter is slow, but the red Ferrari set me back by $61. The yellow Ferrari, oh my gosh, because it's a variant and it's rare. This baby is $114. So I guess you're probably expecting me to complain, right? And say that these things are both ripoffs like the Ferrari F355. I mean, they don't even have working suspension like the Honda NSX does. Well, no. Here's the thing. Each of these Ferrari F40s is a bleeping masterpiece. Look at that. Look at the astonishing detail in these cars you have interiors you have engine detail look at that i mean these aren't toys by any stretch these are miniature pieces of art they are transcendent look at that look at that detail It is just incomparable. There's nothing else on the market quite like it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. As much as I love this Honda NSX and as glad as I am that I paid what I paid for it I have to say that between these two cars, they are worth the premium. Okay. You know me, I, I, I am an advocate of affordable diecast cars. That's why I love Mini GT so much. But these two things, this this, this Ferrari F40, it's 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 a cut above. It's just, it's just simply in a class on its own. To call it beautiful would be the height of understatement. Now, this is also available as Atomica Premium, incidentally. There's a red, and instead of yellow, the, the alternate color is blue. And truth be told, I'm happier picking up the Atomica Premiums rather than the TLVNs because they are more affordable. But in this case, and especially considering that in a lot of the Tomica 
limited vintage neos you have to glue your side mirrors on the Tomica premium just feels that much more worthwhile because you know at least you don't have to worry about side mirrors but this car comes complete the side mirrors have already been installed and apart from that it is just simply a magnificent car so suffice it to say my dear friends if i had unboxed this or if i had filmed unboxing videos of these cars no matter how ridiculous the prices would have seemed both of these each of these cars would have gotten a 10. they're just they're just that beautiful you can see for yourselves my words cannot do these cards justice right so in response to the question is it worth it in the case of the f40 i have to say the answer is a resounding yes but if there's anything that this this two-parter has shown it's that on the whole okay on the whole you can't conclude that the prices charged for these ferraris are worth the premium it's a case-to-case -case thing the onus is on Tomica to make sure that every time they churn out a TLVN model, they make it worth the collector's while. So it, we're not just paying for the brand. We should be paying for craftsmanship like this. We should be paying for that. For that. Okay, so just because they have one of the most coveted licenses in the diecast toy car world, Tomica Limited Vintage Neo should not take this for granted. They should make sure that every single model is as good as this and not slack off like they did with the Ferrari F355. And that's it. That's my hot take. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this two-parter, right? And, well, for those of you who are new to the channel, I hope you'll consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell.